Joe Biden decided to weigh in on the outcome of the UK election, and predictably, it confirms his thesis that we need a moderate if we want to beat Donald Trump in 2020 because we saw what happened in the UK. You go too far to the left, and the Trumpian figure will win. In other words, we need Joe Biden if we want to beat Donald Trump. As Quint Forgey of Politico writes, former Vice President Joe Biden on Thursday sought to draw parallels between the results of the United Kingdom's general election and the 2020 White House race, arguing that British Prime Minister Boris Johnson's resounding victory should warn Democrats against veering too far left in their fight to defeat President Donald Trump. Boris Johnson is winning in a walk, Biden, a leading Democratic presidential candidate, told attendees of a campaign fundraiser in San Francisco. The Prime Minister's Conservative Party captured an overwhelming parliamentary majority in Thursday's election, taking dozens of seats in Britain's House of Commons from opposition leader Jeremy Corbyn's Labour Party. Predicting news headlines reporting the thumping by Johnson's Tories, Biden said, look what happens when the Labour Party moves so, so far to the left. It comes up with ideas that are not able to be contained within a rational basis quickly. Biden went on to assert that the Prime Minister's triumph would change public perceptions regarding Trump's odds of re-election. You're also going to see people saying, my God, Boris Johnson, who is kind of a physical and emotional clone of the president, is able to win, he said. Okay, two things. Uh, first of all, I would like to hear which ideas of Corbyn's specifically led to him losing. And what I'm getting at is I don't think that Joe Biden knows much about the labor manifesto or what Jeremy Corbyn was talking about, because what Joe Biden deems as too far left here such as Medicare for All, they already have that in the UK. Like, what we're fighting for, we're fighting for what the UK has and is basically trying to defend. So I don't think that Joe Biden would actually be able to adequately describe what he deems is too far left from Jeremy Corbyn because he doesn't know anything about the UK election. He doesn't know about American politics. So, I mean, come on. Nobody believes that you know what's going on there. Second of all, look, here's the thing. We knew that in the event Corbyn would lose, which polls indicated that Labour wasn't going to win, centrists would be fear-mongering about Bernie Sanders here in the United States. Although, conversely, in the event Labour was able to outperform the polls and actually pull out a victory, well, then conservatives would just say, well, you know what, the UK is a different political setting. You know, they have different, you know, institutions. So that's different. You can't compare that to here. So, I mean, regardless, they would be working backwards from their conclusion that if you are too far to the left, you're bad. And if you are a centrist or a moderate or a neoliberal, then you are going to be our ticket to beating Donald Trump. They already reached that conclusion and the outcome of the UK election would not have persuaded them to think any differently. But regardless, let's look at some of the goons who claimed that Corbyn's defeat does spell disaster for Sanders in 2020. You had Jonathan Chait suggest that, you know, Jeremy Corbyn's defeat should prompt rethink among the left. You have Bill Maher saying Corbyn's defeat is a cautionary tale for Democrats in 2020. And now, predictably, you have Joe Biden floating this idea that only a moderate can defeat Donald Trump. Now, the only way that I think we on the left should respond to this type of nonsense is with this response by Matt from Majority Report, who says, Corbyn's loss shows that a moderate ticket is the one to beat Trump. I suggest Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine. Exactly. Because after a moderate is a demonstrable failure against Donald Trump, there's absolutely no introspection whatsoever from centrists. However, when someone on the left loses in a different country... Well, all of a sudden, people in the left in America have to reflect. Well, wait, you guys are the ones who told us back in 2016 that only a moderate can beat Donald Trump. And the moderate of all moderates, the quintessential moderate, lost to Donald Trump. So why is it that we're supposed to be more introspective, but you guys aren't? Isn't it interesting that they have this standard that they apply to us, but not themselves? Well, as David Sirota puts it, Democrats must have a clear position on Brexit to win Michigan. I am a smart. That's exactly it. Now, getting back to Biden, let's assume for a moment that this electability argument of his is in fact correct, and you really do need a moderate to beat Donald Trump. Well, how does that help Joe Biden? Because even though he's hoping to benefit and exploit this loss of labor... Well, 
why would we assume that he's the best moderate to take on Donald Trump? Why not Pete Buttigieg? Why not Amy Klobuchar? Why not one of the other moderates running? I don't know, Michael Bennett, John Delaney. Why Joe Biden? So this argument, even if it were true, which is not, it still wouldn't help Joe Biden. Because if anything, throughout the course of this primary process, he has demonstrated that he is incapable of defeating Donald Trump, not only because he is unhinged, not only because he called someone fat and can't hold his temper, not only because he is hollow and has no policies to offer people. I mean, why would you beat Donald Trump? Your performance at the debates has been absolutely atrocious. You're, you know, you have a support base that's incredibly malleable. Overall, they're less enthusiastic about you than someone who you deem too far left, like Bernie Sanders. I mean, why are you the one to take on Donald Trump. So if you truly believed that a moderate is best suited to beat Donald Trump, wouldn't it be more important for you to encourage your supporters to coalesce around a moderate that's actually more electable? Well, I mean, his argument would be, I'm polling in first place. Sure, fair enough. But um, Hillary Clinton was polling in first place at this point in time. And she still lost. And Hillary Clinton is stronger than Joe Biden in terms of um, her political performance, in terms of just being more politically savvy. I think she was out of touch. And I think that Joe Biden, ideologically speaking, is probably slightly to her left. Regardless, she's more competent at running a campaign than Joe Biden is. Joe Biden is flailing. He makes a gaffe every other minute. So even if the moderate argument were correct, which again, it's not. Joe Biden is still not the moderate. So I know that you're trying to, you know, enjoy the fact that this might have a message for us progressives. Maybe we should back down, but that's not ever going to happen. A moderate will lose to Donald Trump in 2020 like they did in 2016. And a moderate like you, Joe, would certainly lose to Donald Trump. I have absolutely no confidence that you would do any better against Donald Trump than Hillary Clinton because the base doesn't like you. The mainstream media hasn't even really been doing propaganda for you because it's just embarrassing at this point. And even your own wife conceded that, you know, maybe we're not excited about your healthcare proposal, but, you know, you can beat Donald Trump. Maybe if you have to make that argument that you're grasping for anything, which you are. I mean, I have nothing left to say. Joe Biden is uh, not electable. If we truly want to beat Donald Trump, then it's Bernie Sanders. He's our best bet. Nobody is a foregone conclusion, but the United States is different than the UK. We'll get into this in a different segment, but it's not going to be Joe Biden, which is what I think he wants to be the takeaway, but that's not the takeaway. Alpha male, not a beta male.